Okay, so I got this email the other day and it says, action required, your app is not compliant with Google Play policies. Then gives the name of my app, Offline Chess. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to make my app compliant with those Google Play policies. So if we scroll down, we'll see that it doesn't, my app doesn't comply with the metadata policy. So metadata is basically the title, description, screenshots, basically information about your app. And I have had this notice served to me quite a number of times, in fact, for different reasons on different apps. But this one really takes the biscuit and it's because it's just the repetition of one word and that is the, there's two times. Well, we do need to fix it because my app is currently removed and I want to get it back onto the Play Store. Fortunately, Google does give some instructions on what to do. So, recommend reading that and this. And also to sign into the Play Console and update the app. So, Let's go ahead and do that. So into the Google Play console, we scroll down. And this is the app over here. As you can see, it says removed by Google. You can ignore this. You probably won't see this here. It's just because I was messing around earlier on. So if we just click on this. And what you do is just scroll down a bit further. So store presence, we want to go on to main store listing. So it gives you title, your descriptions, and your graphics, etc. So this is your metadata. And in my case, it was. Uh, you can read this if you want to. In my opinion, it seems perfectly fine. Uh, but I had over here, it said this. Now, sometimes when I, I write in fast, sometimes I write a word two times. Sometimes I don't write that word at all. It happens sometimes, but I usually proofread. And obviously that just uh, skipped ahead in my mind, I guess. So, what we do when you, you do that, you just delete or change your description or whatever it is you need to change here. Click on save. I'll say that it's saved. And now, if we go up, we want to go over here, publish an overview. And then click on this button here, send for review. So, yep. And that's all there is to it. Thank you for watching. Hope that helps you out. And I'll, I'll probably leave a bit more information in the description of my video just to help you to prevent... Um, getting the same sort of problems that I've had because I've had this sort of email notice quite a number of times now so if you can learn from my mistakes hopefully you won't ever get a message like this okay so yeah thank you for watching and if you're not subscribing already you know please do really appreciate it Thank you.